so let's create an 3d object okay so just right click on the hierarchy you will see many option here this is a create empty object which will create a empty object as nice. nothing in it if you want to create a 3d object just go here you can see here are many options cube sphere capsule cylinder plane these are the 3d objects like if you want to make a 3d cube in your game so let's create now you can see this is our cube so these are the axis of the cube red axis for x z for a blue for z axis and green for y axis if when we create our uh, 3d object you can see these are the options uh, which is given by unity uh, to our object now you can see this is the transform first thing is here is position like where you want to uh, put your this object like uh, if you want to put somewhere else like you want to put it here then you will just change the position like if you want to uh, put this object from at 1 1 and 1 it means the position of the object is 1 1 1 x position is 1 y position is 1 z position is 1 you can see it moves a little up and you can also see in the game scene now go to the main camera if you want to focus the uh, one object just press f button it will focus on the object which you have selected here okay so this is the main camera which we have selected now if we will move our main camera look what happen this is the game view okay when we move the camera its view is changing look if we move the camera up the box will go down in the game scene if we move our camera below the object will go up it's like where we want to put our uh, camera okay and this is for x axis now what we want to do let's make a plane here this is the scale 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 which means if you want to increase its size increase its length breadth and uh, height you can change it from here like if you want to increase it from x axis like if you want to it in x axis at 2 then put it to you can see in x axis its size increases okay now select the cube and press f button it will focus on your object now if you want to increase its size it its height so you have to increase the value to y axis let's change it to 3 and see it changes its size same you can do for z axis okay so now let's reset this positions now i make this cube to a plane 
so I will give 30 to x and 30 to z so you can see this is the 3d plane which we have created here okay so you can see here this is the hand tool which you can use to move the view of your scene and if you right click uh, anywhere in the scene you can see a eyeball here which means you can rotate to any position okay and to move and this to move the view okay and in the right side of the hand tool here is a move tool which is used to move our object if you want to move the object in the x axis remember red axis is for x axis okay you can match it here if you want to move your object in the x direction then just click in the red axis and move wherever you want to move it and when you moving look at the transfer positions in the x axis when you will move it here the positions will change there also which means you can move it from here also you can move it from there okay i think you getting my point if you want to move in the z axis then put the cursor here and move wherever you want in the z axis okay so i think this is place is the good now change the main camera little up so it will look great now this is our plane so you can rename your object here just right click and rename you made a plane what happened to it and uh, anyways i'm sorry for that okay so now we will add another 3d object here also i will make it view move it upward you can see in the game this is our new 3d object you can move it anywhere i have already told you how to move okay so put it here this is our plane and this is the cube okay so when we hit you can uh, run your game in your okay so we are talking about this inspector we have choose our cube this little cube this is the properties of cube and this is the properties of plane okay so when we select cube you can see there is a box collider box collider is nothing is a basic cuboid shaped collision primitive it has many properties like is triggered when we will tick this is triggered which means this collider is used for triggering events and is ignored by the physics engine this is the okay so let's untick this this is the material reference to the physical material that determines how the collider, collider interacts with the others this is the center the position of the collider in the object's local space this is the size of the box collider which is uh, randomly select to x y z for 1 1 1 okay so this is the edit collider when you choose this edit collider volume 
you can see in your scene view it has some green lines in all the sides of it when you will drag this it means this is the box collider okay so we so our cube have box collider our plane have box collider it is responsible for colliding the objects okay so when we will hit play nothing will happen because we uh, we haven't uh, added some physics so if you want to fall down this object to the ground you have to add some properties to the cube okay so let's click the cube you can here you can see add components properties so let's click here you will see many properties here so in physics you will have a rigid body let's click here adding a rigid body component to an object will put its motion under the control of unity's physics engine even without adding a code you can see we have add rigid body here so this component is already added to our cube object you can see it has many properties first of all mass it is the mass of your cube if you want to fall down this object to the plane you have to use gravity you guys all know about gravity what is gravity and why if you don't use this gravity it will flow in the air like this object is placed in the moon okay so let's stick here and let's play now so you will see this cube object will fall down to the ground see it's fall down to the ground so let's move this cube to little up so it will fall from a height okay so we were talking about box collider if we untick or remove the box collider you will see this these two objects will not collide like wait i will show you this will go through the plane now let's play we have already removed the box collider from the cube let's play it will fall but it won't collide with the plane see it's it goes down down and down so let's stop it so you have to add this box collider if you want to collide the objects okay i think you will understand what i'm trying to say so now we will play these objects will collide to each other and yeah this colliding that's amazing so if we want to rotate our object there is a rotate tool so if you want to rotate it here now let's play let's play uh, i am using in 4 gp pc so it's working a little slow yeah you can see it's fall down and because of physics it it acts as a real object all right so let's move it here or you can reset it from here all right so now if you want to scale your 
object you can use a scale tool you can use this scale from here or you can directly increase the length grid and size by using this scale tool let's press let's select the cube and press f to zoom if you want to increase the size in z axis that let's add if you want to increase the height if you want to increase in x axis you can see it here it's changing the values when we tracking these okay so let's change it to 2 at x to at y and to at z one of the most important thing in unit engine is auto generated lightning let's double click clear and tick this auto generate this will help you to uh, use the lightning effects unity will generate itself like you can see the shadow of the object it's pretty much cool for the looks so if you want to change the color and uh, and the color so we will now do it that okay so in the assets let's right click here create a new material let's name it the cube okay so this is the inspector for material cube okay from here we can change the color of the object so, okay so let's change its color to the red okay so what you want to change the color if we will drag this to our cube it will change its color if we drag it to the plane the color of the plane will be changed so let's change the color of our cube and there so if you want to change the color from red to anything else just select the material here and when you will change the color you can see the object's colors is changing directly you don't have to uh, drag again and again okay so so if you want to change the smoothness you can change the smoothness of the object if you want your uh, objects more metallic then just increase its metallicity you can see the metallic is more metallic all right guys so we are we can we are able to change the color and the metallic metallic behavior and smoothness of our layer and 3d object okay so now when we hit play you can see it will collide with the plane and it's pretty much in interesting all right so this is the pause button you can pause this uh, game emulator okay so guys as i told you this game engine is used to make any type of game okay so when you you will go to the file options there is a build setting just click it here you can see these are the platform which games you can create using this unity engine first is pc mac linux you can make your web games using this engine if you want to create an android game just you can create android game here 
universal windows platform ps4 ios i think these are not yes these things are also supported you can create your ios games so if you want to create a android game i am using an android phone so i will create a android applications android and ios procedure is also uh, pretty much same so if you want to make a game for ios just click here and install with unity hub and the procedure will be same okay so i am going to make a android game so we will select android here you can see the platform is this time the platform is selected for pc we have to change the platform to the android if we are going to make the android game because you know the coding part will be different in pc if you want to move a player uh, to the forward direction we use the upward arrow key and uh, w key to move our player in the forward directions but in the android apps we don't have the w key and up arrow so the input things in the code and the rest of the code for the forward and backward directions and all the things for the player will be changed so we are going to make an android game so we have to change the platform to the android so we have already selected to android just go here and click to the switch platform which we will take some time and which, which uh, it will what will do it will switch the platform to pc to the android so that you can easily make your own android game okay so as you can see it, it will take some time it's uh, compiling a scripts and saying hold on okay so i am holding on let's just wait for some time okay so i think it's done it's importing in this tutorial we are going to make a zombie shooter game okay so you can see the platform is now switched to the android now just cross this now this is for the android applications now you can see in the game view in the free aspect these are the uh, uh, screen resolutions for the, our game just stick for free aspect like uh, every android game android mobile having different resolutions so if we will choose the free aspect it will itself use the same resolutions as the android phone have okay so we have already changed the cube color so let's change the color of our plane so all we have to do just create a new material for our plane okay so let's talk about some coding things as i told you we are going to use c sharp language for the coding part like uh, if we want to move our cube in the x y or z direction we can do it from our code 